hello welcome once again Bojan restaurant management software in this video I will show you restaurant purchase management system how to add supplier how to purchase restaurant ingredients how to add items and many more things so let's start after entering admin panel you will see this interface now um, we will click on purchase manage okay you will see here different options now click on purchase item today we'll see all the options okay all right we have to add our um, purchase item suppliers and uh, many more things in that case click on add supplier suppose you have a new restaurant you never purchased before from someone in that case what should you do you have to add your supplier so click on add supplier okay provide supplier name email address is not required but if you want you can fill that okay and mobile number okay previous credit balance um, how much credit you have uh, you have to provide here suppose you have all right twenty thousand dollars provide address there is not a required field you can provide supplier address suppose your supplier from California PSA okay now click on add okay successfully added upper click on that Jonathan this is a supplier name has been added this is an email address this is a mobile number and this is a supplier address so if you want to edit then click on that pin icon button and uh, you will get this supplier interface then provide information if you make any mistake and then click on update okay then it will automatically be updated all right now we will make order to purchase ingredients okay so in that case if you want you can order from here or if you go in that section add purchase so you can make order from this section so now provide a supplier name I have added supplier name supply name is Jonathan and purchase date suppose you have two days ingredients that means how much ingredients you have so you can run your restaurant for more than two days okay suppose you want to ingredients from 11th January okay so it will go on for uh, 20th January all right so you can generate invoice from here this is a uh, invoice number so details is an special field so if you want you, you can provide your customer details here if you want that you can skip it okay payment time payment time is basically default option cash payment and bank payment which payment option do you prefer um, i basically prefer cash payment okay now item information suppose you have a new restaurant you didn't add um, any extra item or any new item in your ingredients list so in that case what should you do come to the setting option click on unit measurement click on ingredients list okay so after click on that you will get this interface now you have to add restaurant ingredients that means which ingredients you want to purchase from your supplier okay so click on that and uh, provide your select unit which unit you prefer kilogram ingredients name like carrot restock label that means which is your lowest stock label suppose five kilogram select active status and click on add okay carrot has been added in your ingredients list okay i'm adding more than 
kilogram ingredients name ranger all right and its stock label is five kilogram and its status active okay click on add all right so if you like to uh, purchase your restaurant ingredients from your space big supplier in that case you have to add your ingredients from setting option okay so go to this section okay I have added few more ingredients all right now in that case I have to reload again okay okay and I have to select again because if you reload it then all the information uh, will be vanished all right okay I'm selecting all the dates uh, same as past invoice number was uh, 0012 maybe yeah and payment option cash details I never given any details and item information so I will select that information I have added carrot okay select it and quantity stock quantity is zero that means uh, there is no stock available okay how much quantity you require suppose you want to order for 15 kilogram and rate is uh, how much does uh, one kilogram carrot cost suppose 50 okay total amount is this in that case I want to add more ingredients or more item then click on add more item okay uh, onion all right okay suppose I want to select Branger all right quantity is a uh, 20 kg Park case is 40 and total amount is this all right so if you want you can add different types of ingredients whatever you require all right so after providing all these things now click on submit okay successfully save suppose you have purchased many things now you want to return suppose you require 10 kg of carrot but you have purchased more than that now you want to return it in that case click on return purchase select your supplier name from that section suppose supplier name was Jonathan select invoice invoice was this and search so i have purchased from jonathan this type of ingredients and the purchase quantity was this price was this and total purchase discount i never got any discount so now i want to return it but how to return suppose i want to make a return for five kilogram okay haven't got any discount from our supplier i don't want to give any discount to supplier okay click on return okay successfully return so how to say it in that case click on return invoice to check that okay invoice was 12 supplier name was Jonathan and the price was this that means I have returned it in this date okay so price is this all right so this is a simple process if you require to return something then you have to do this way all right just see that how many ingredients you have uh, returned so i want to see that okay click on that i button and see here restaurant name is this supplier name is this and uh, this is a return date invoice number is this so you have returned brain gel five kilogram okay and price was this per kg or per kilogram and total price is this if you want you can print it otherwise avoid it or skip it this is a simple process now I want to see supplier ledger supplier ledger is basically a list so from here you can see your purchase date description that means uh, if you have any special note then you can see from here you can see your invoice number okay and uh, debit credit and balance uh, everything you can see from here all right okay now come to the stock ingredients a stock out ingredients is basically a list so this will show you how many ingredients or how much ingredients are available in your stock 
suppose Jinger is showing me zero that means Jinger is not available in my store if you require to make an order then click on purchase add purchase and go this uh, and fill out all the information and um, add your item and then submit so this is a simple process how to purchase your ingredients from your supplier no more today wish you good luck and uh, have a great day thank you